Today we'll be taking a look at getting started with using Jamboard for teaching and learning. Jamboard is a free digital whiteboard that can be used for collaboration in real time. It saves your sketches automatically so that you can come back and view it at any time. Keep watching to learn more about Jamboard's features and be sure to subscribe for more EdTech videos. Let's start by taking a look at the side panel features. There are eight tools that you can use. The first tool is a drawing tool. You can choose to draw with a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a brush. There are six colors to choose from and you can draw anywhere on your Jamboard. The next tool is an eraser tool, which allows you to erase your drawings. You can then go ahead and select any objects to move around. Be mindful that you can't select and move around drawings. Next is the sticky notes feature. You can create sticky notes in a range of colors. You can add images from your computer or do a Google image search to find an image for your Jamboard. Next is the shapes tool. You can include any of these eight shapes into your Jamboard. You can change the border color and the fill color. Next, we have a text tool, which allows you to type anywhere on your Jamboard. You can change the size of your text, the color of the text, as well as the alignment of the text. Lastly, we have a laser tool. This allows us to temporarily highlight any features on our Jamboard. This is great for teaching in a classroom or if you're using a synchronous approach during distance learning. Next, we'll be talking about changing the background of your frame. There is a button called background which allows you to change the background of your frame. You can also choose to clear the frame, which eliminates everything on your Jamboard. If you accidentally hit this button, don't fret, you can undo this by pressing Ctrl Z if you're using Windows and Command Z if you're using Mac. In terms of sharing features, Jamboard works the same as any application in G Suite, where there's a button on the top right corner that says Share. You can share to individual emails or you can send out a view only or edit a link. Be mindful if you allow everyone to edit, they can move and delete anything in your frames. You'll need to strategically navigate this. For example, you can ask students to jam only for small group work, where each student has high accountability for their actions. The next feature is multiple frames. You can add more frames by clicking this arrow. You can look at all your frames by clicking the middle. You can also duplicate your frames by clicking the three dots that is next to the frame and pressing duplicate. You can also delete the frames. We're going to move on to talk about activity ideas. We'll start by using this new frame. The first idea is to use Jamboard for brainstorming and creating concept maps. Let's start by adding a shape. We can also change the color of the shape and add some text. We can change the size and color of the text. Students will be able to draw around the shape and add sticky notes. If this is a small group task, you can instruct group members to use a specific color whilst jamming. For example, one person can be jamming in blue. This allows you to keep track of everybody's contributions. Let's go to the next activity. The next idea is to provide a scaffold or template for students while they're jamming. For example, the activity could be to create a storyboard and you could create some boxes for students to use. Let's first create a title. We'll just write storyboard. We'll 
We'll then create some boxes and duplicate them. You can then have a sticky note for instructions. You can also go ahead and upload or copy and paste any graphic organizers or templates for students to use. We'll go to add image and upload. We can then size it how we like. Students will then be able to add any text or sticky notes into this template. For the next activity, you can provide a visual prompt for students and then ask them a set of questions. First, we'll upload an image. For this activity, we'll do a see, think, wonder. You can add text to provide more information. Students will then be able to draw, add text, or a sticky note to complete this activity. Jamboard is great for maths as well. You can copy and paste images of questions and draw on the whiteboard to demonstrate how to complete the question. You can change the background to graph paper to draw graphs as well. Here is a digital worksheet that I want to use. You can use the snip tool to grab any images that you want. You can then go ahead and copy and paste this into your Jamboard. You can then use the pen tool to solve this. For the final activity, you can use Jamboard to create an exit slip activity. You can add a shape to make your instructions stand out. If you're interested in more activity ideas, check out the Google Teacher Center you'll be able to find tips and sample exercises to use in your own classroom. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how to use Jamboard in the classroom. If you'd like to share your own ideas, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos.